Laney College Industrial Maintenance presents the Apple Press. These students are going to give us a quick demonstration on how to use this press to make delicious apple cider. Step one, get some apples. Cut them into halves so they're easier to put through the grinder. Step two, assemble the press. We'll need a grinder to make a fine pulp so it'll be easier to extract juice from the apples. The grinding cylinder uses stainless steel teeth to chew up the fruit, and the grinder gets mounted onto the press frame. We'll also need a basket to catch the pulp and a hydraulic motor to eliminate the need for hand cranking the grinder. The hydraulic motor also gets mounted onto the press frame making sure that the motor shaft and the grinder shaft are aligned to one another. We'll need a hydraulic power unit with a reservoir for hydraulic fluid. A pressure gauge reads the operating pressure of the circuit. A solenoid operated control valve is used to actuate the hydraulic motor for the grinder and a trunnion mounted cylinder for the press. A flow control valve controls the speed of the hydraulic motor, and the components are all connected with high pressure flexible hose. Step 3. Turn the power on. This will start the grinder. Step 4. Grind the apples. The pulp falls into the basket, which has been lined with a muslin bag to keep everything together. Step 5. Align the press plate. This stainless steel plate fits snugly inside the basket. Step 6. Actuate the cylinder. Step 7. Collect the juice. The juice can be immediately consumed or stored in a large vessel for later. Step 8. Remove the pulp. The pulp makes great compost. Step 9. Repeat until there are no apples left. And of course, step 10. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Well, not everyone likes cider. If you want to take your cider one step further, collect it in a large glass bottle called a carboy. With just a little yeast and some time, you can turn this delicious apple cider into a truly excellent hard cider. But that's another video.